Good evening and welcome to our Access North Texas public outreach meeting. Um, this is the second of uh, the two meetings that we are holding for um, Ellis and Navarro County. This is tonight's agenda. Um, basically, we'll run you through um, who we are, uh, the Council of Governments, what Access North Texas is, um, existing services. Um, we'll ask for your feedback. We'll guide you through the survey, the map your experience tool, and share our timeline as well. NEDCOG was established in 1966 as a voluntary association assisting local governments in North Central Texas region. We're planning for common needs, cooperating for mutual benefit, coordinating for sound regional development. The Transportation Department, um, which houses our particular team, the transit team is federally designated as the Metropolitan Planning Organization, or MPO, which coordinates service and creates short-term and long-term plans. For more information about the Council of Governments, I'd encourage you to jump on and take a look um, at our website, and we're at www.nctcog.org. What is Access North Texas? Well, it's a regional public transportation and coordination plan or coordination plan. Um, it is required by the FDA and TxDOT. And um, the information uh, collected informs uh, future planning and funding decisions. Um, we wanna know your transit needs, um, again, as it will inform the future um, for the planning, um, planning and funding. Um, for our particular region. You can visit accessnorttexas.org to find the previous plan, the 2018 uh, plan. And um, we'll also, you'll also have access to um, input opportunities for the current update, the 2020 plan. These are the current services available for Ellis County. Um, the map is both Ellis and Navarro County, uh, but the particular services for Ellis County are Community Transit Services, Texas Kidney Healthcare Program, the VA North Texas Healthcare System Travel Benefits Program, and the Veteran Transportation Service, along with um, those agencies you see in the legend. These are the existing services in Navarro County. Uh, those agencies are the Community Transit Services, DART Vanpool, Texas Kidney Healthcare Program, VA North Texas Healthcare System Travel Benefits Program, as well as the Veteran Transportation Service, and as well as the um, agencies you see in the legend. These are Ellis County's existing transit studies. Um, you'll see three listed here. This is the Johnson County Thoroughfare Plan was completed in August of 2020. The City of Burleson's Comprehensive Plan adopted on April 20 um, of April 2010. In the City of Cleburne's Master Thoroughfare Plan adopted in 2008. Navarro County does not have any existing studies. These are some of the questions that you will see in the survey. In the last six months, have you missed any trips due to a lack of transportation? This could be to your place of employment, um, school, a medical uh, appointment, a religious um, event, um, simply an entertainment, whether it's dinner or you're getting out with friends, um, and essentials like grocery and medical trips. Um, even the vaccination, did, was there something in place in your particular, in your particular area to actually facilitate you um, getting um, to a vaccine location? What keeps you from getting where you need to go? Again, another question that um, you'll have the ability to answer in our survey. There is um, 
a survey for um, an individual, so just maybe a member of the public, um, someone you may be working with in your with your particular agency, and then um, one that your actual agency, your peers can utilize. And so uh, the difference would be whether it's um, that it would be firsthand um, information where the individual would be able to say, yes, I missed a trip to work and couldn't get there or trip to the doctor versus uh, what you would be completing would be something that you've, that one of your clients has shared. So you can say, this is what we're hearing from our clientele. We're hearing that they can't um, get to, let's say church on Sunday, for instance, um, services or excuse me, um, transportation is available Monday through Friday and eight to five, but nothing on the weekend. Those are the sorts of things that we'd like like um, we'd like to hear on um, or the feedback we'd like to see on both the survey and uh, the couple of other um, items that inform the survey as well. The next question is which potential services would be most appealing to you or members of your household? Again, is it going to be, um, we, we don't imagine that, um, that, these services are the same for everyone. So is it a situation where it's just um, maybe you have someone with a disability, someone who needs um, wheelchair access or a ramp, maybe that's a little bit different than just calling um, maybe an Uber or, um, or um, a taxi, perhaps that um, that is not available at, um, with another um, agency. So there is a little bit of a difference. And so again, um, these are, um, we hope that some of the information or the information that you can share with us, um, you can give us some specifics. Next question is, what is the best way to enhance your transit experience? What's going to help you? What's going to make you feel better about it? Um, currently, is it that you're able to social distance? Is it that there's partitions between you and your fellow writers? Um, that masks are still recommended? Um, those are the sorts of things um, we'd like to see in um, response to this particular question. And how can transit service be improved within your county? Um, again, this particular question is not necessarily just what's not working or what do you want to see? Perhaps it's something that is working, but you'd like to see more of it. Um, maybe again, um, the you have access to transportation, but uh, or transit. Um, but again, it's a little out of reach when you have to go, maybe you have a late shift at work and you need to go at six and a transit stops at five. What do you do then? Or do you actually get to work um, in that eight to five time frame that perhaps transit is, is running and is accessible, um, but how do we get you home? So your shift ends at midnight and there is no additional transit available. Um, how, how does how are you affected by that? And is that something that you're seeing again um, in your community with the folks that you are servicing? Is that something that people are sharing with you? Um, moving on, these are the um, current um, strategies for Ellis County. We won't run through all of them, but I'll, I will flag a couple um, that this these strategies look um, as um, benign as maybe improved local and regional access to medical appointments in Dallas County. Well, that seems very general, but uh, clearly that's very important, especially to that individual who's going to miss that appointment if that, if that is not there. But those are the, when we think about strategies, these are this is how general that it can be, but you know we can go to something a little more in depth where we're looking at establishing consistent and effective driver recruitment and retention programs for public transportation services to address difficulties in retaining drivers in Ellis County. Again, is the infrastructure there? Um, we have buses. The the 
the ability to actually transport individuals from one place to another is there or the ability to get someone there. However, we don't have the appropriate number of staff to actually uh, make that happen. Um, how do we how to recruit how do we recruit um, individuals that will um, stay with us? How do we retain them once we do bring them on? Um, so those are some of those things that um, that the strategies would look at and um, and help us in, uh, better inform some of these decisions. These the Navarro strategies, and again, you'll see um, um, a range of of uh, strategies here, um, like create and maintain a coordinating committee to discuss ongoing transportation needs. Again, it, is it a situation when we can identify what the need is, we can put it down on a report, we um, and close that book and it's done. Um, well, how do we actually affect change? So we put that on the quote unquote books, but how do we address that as an ongoing issue? How do we continue to discuss or continue that discussion to make sure that it is not a one-time, we've put our hands on this, we've said this is a problem and that we should create and maintain um, a committee, but then we have no follow through. Those are the things that we hope that these strategies, once they're once they're down, that we can actually, or your peers can actually look and refer to and say, okay, now we move on to this particular strategy and or this team is working on X strategy. And next is our ask, simply that we would um, like and we would encourage you um, to, to take this survey. Uh, you can take it here at www.accessnorthtexas.org. Um, and again, that is where um, both the uh, survey for the organization would be located as well as um, an individual could uh, also uh, you could um, complete the survey there as well, excuse me. Um, so um, again, whether you, or if you would, we'd ask that you please share it with your peers, your individuals in your community, um, and, um, and certainly with your partnering agencies, as well as the individuals that you are servicing. Um, it's good for an individual to know that um, their voice matters, their opinion matters, um, and why not point them in this direction? It certainly could affect the change they want to see um, in their particular um, in their particular county. This is the map, uh, your experience tool um, discussed, um, or I made mention of earlier. Um, this is really more of a, a a visual tool. I think the individual would be able to actually go in here and say, I'm here and I want to go here. So kind of pointing from one spot to another and say that there is no transit available from let's say two o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the morning and you need, um, um, you'd like something in place. So um, again, uh, this is pretty um, easy to um, to work. So I would, I would encourage you to go and take a look at it yourself so that as you're sharing the information with others, um, you can in fact say that um, it's not scary at all and it's pretty intuitive and um, easy to traverse. Here's our timeline. Um, we've currently um, are in phase one, which is our public outreach phase. Um, next will be the data analysis and mapping. So we're just um, taking in all the information and um, um, to follow would be uh, developing strategies and drafting our chapters. So um, once those uh, strategies are drafted, um, then they would come out for public comment. And once that is um, done, then we would release the update. Those are the, the strategies that we um, I touched on earlier. Um, again, would come from the feedback that we receive at meetings like this or from the actual survey or the Map Your Experience tool. That's why, again, it's very important that um, 
that we get that feedback. Um, again, it's not necessary for an individual to um, attend one of these meetings. So feel free to share the, the information, the link itself, and um, you'll get a copy of this presentation. So you can feel free to, again, share with your peers and share with uh, members of the public. And um, so that we can make this a strong, um, plan that we can really inform what um, what the future will be as far as funding and planning for our region. And finally, here's our contact information. You can reach us directly at Access North Texas at nctcog.org or you can communicate with each of us independently or individually. Um, my name is Dora Kelly. I'm at dkelly at nctcog.org, or you can reach any one of my peers, Vivian Fung, Gypsy Gavia, or Rachel Jenkins. We're all available to answer any questions or um, perhaps even share this presentation with, um, again, any anyone you'd, you'd like us to present to, whether again, it's the members of your community or your organization itself, we'd be happy to arrange that. So um, please reach out and um, uh, make your needs known and, and we, can, um, we can go from there. With that, I'd like to thank you for your time. And um, again, ask you to please complete the survey and um, share, um, when and to who you can and ask them to do the same. Thank you, have a good evening.